but I don't take disrespect lightly. Honestly, I have no idea. I was just trying to get to the handshake line and shake hands and... She disrespected Alexis and my girls, South Carolina, they still my SEC. Today, we're delving into one of the hottest rivalries in women's basketball, the epic showdown between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Let's commence with the game that put these two on everyone's radar. The 2023 National Championship game wasn't just a battle for the title. It was the moment Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark became household names. Reese's LSU Tigers took down Clark's Hawkeyes in a game that had more viewers than ever before. We're talking about 9.9 .9 million people tuning in and peaking at 12.6 million. This wasn't just a contest, it was a spectacle of fierce competitiveness. The rivalry didn't stop there. The next year, in the 2024 Elite Eight, Clark's Hawkeyes gained their revenge, adding another layer of intensity to their dynamic. These two have been going head to head since their AAU days, and it's only grown hotter in the WNBA. And let's speak about those unforgettable moments during the championship. Remember Reese's, you can't see me, hand wave and that ring finger point? Iconic. Critics attacked her for it, but Clark had her back, saying trash talk is part of the game. Now that's professionalism. Despite the media attempting to paint them as enemies, Reese and Clark have always been clear. It's all about respect and competition. Reese even said, Oh my gosh, I love Caitlyn. We've been competing since we were in AAU. And Clark reaffirmed that sentiment, emphasizing their mutual competitive spirit. They have made it clear, it's not personal, it's just the game. Reese summed it up perfectly. I'll accept the villain role. We're developing women's basketball. If this is the way we are gonna do it, you either like it or you don't. So, speaking of Angel Reese's on-court intensity, did you hear about the time she got ejected from a game for waving off a referee? Let's delve into the drama that unfolded on June 4th against the New York Liberty. It is the fourth quarter, and the Chicago Sky is trailing by 11 points with just two and a half minutes left on the clock. Angel Reese, already fired up, gets called for her fifth personal foul. Clearly unhappy with the ruling, she turns to the ref, says something, and then waves him off. The ref didn't take kindly to her reaction and promptly signaled for a technical foul, but it didn't stop there. Suddenly, the ref called another technical foul on her, leading to Reese's immediate ejection from the game. The arena was bustling with confusion. Reese's teammates, the Liberty players, and even the spectators were left scratching their heads. Liberty guard Sabrina Ionescu was so baffled that she confronted the ref, asking why Reese was thrown out just for saying, that's bullshit. After the game, an official explained that Reese's first technical was for addressing the umpire disrespectfully, and the second one for waving him off in resentment. However, they didn't elaborate on what precisely was said to warrant the first technical. Talk about controversial. So, you thought the ejection drama was intense? Wait till you hear what happens next. During a heated contest, Reese racked up a double-double with 11 points and 13 rebounds. But the highlight, or rather low light, of her performance was a flagrant one foul for striking Caitlin Clark in the head while driving to the basket in the third quarter. Instead of calming the waters after the game, Reese stirred the pot by accusing the officials of using special whistles. And if you thought that the criticism would end there, think again. Enter Dave Portnoy, the Barstool Sports CEO, who went off on Reese. Caitlin Clark takes the high road and all Angel Reese does after the game is take shots at her, labeling Reese with main character syndrome. This wasn't the first time Portnoy had gone after Reese. Back in 2023, he dubbed her a clown for mocking Clark during an NCAA tournament game, sparking widespread controversy. And he doubled down, slamming Reese for her antics and accusing her of envy. Portnoy's criticisms paralleled those of other commentators like Jason Whitlock and Skip Bayless, who labeled Reese as delusional and envious of Clark. Reese's actions and words didn't just end with her, they ignited debates all across social media. With each game, Reese's every move and word seem to add fuel to the flames. But Angel Reese isn't just a controversy, she's a force on and off the court. Up next, we'll take a closer look at her lifestyle, financial worth, and the personal side of Bayou Barbie. Angel Reese was born on May 6, 2002 in Randallstown, Maryland. Her love for basketball began young, 
After learning the game from her mother and playing fiercely against her brother Julian in their driveway, she dominated local leagues and competed on boys' teams. Reese's talent was undeniable from the outset. Her versatility extended beyond basketball. She excelled in ballet, gymnastics, swimming, and track. But it was basketball that truly captured her heart, drawing inspiration from WNBA legends like Candace Parker, Maya Moore, and NBA star Muggsy Bogues. Reese's secondary school career was nothing short of stellar. Playing for Team Takeover, an elite AAU program, she teamed up with other top talents like Madison Scott and Jakia Brown-Turner, garnering a five-star rating from ESPN. Her hard work paid off when she was selected seventh overall in the 2024 WNBA draft by the Chicago Sky. Starting her WNBA career with a bang, Reese soon made her mark. She became the first debutante since 2022 to record five consecutive double-digit scoring games, and she ranked second in offensive rebounds in the first five games of the season, just behind Yolanda Griffith. But Reese's aptitude isn't confined to the WNBA. She made her national team debut at the 2023 FIBA Women's America, helping the United States secure a silver medal. But there's more to Angel Reese than just her game. Let's see how Bayou Barbie lives and what her future holds. So her story extends beyond basketball into a life filled with family, business, and making an impact. Her parents, Angel Webb and Michael Reese, were former college basketball champions. Her younger sibling, Julian, is also making waves in college basketball. Influences such as her cousin, Jordan Hawkins, who plays in the NBA, and her mentor, Shaquille O'Neal, have influenced her both personally and professionally. Reese's academic pursuits were as remarkable as her athletic ones. She majored in interdisciplinary studies at LSU and communications at the University of Maryland. When it comes to business, Angel Reese is a powerhouse. She has amassed considerable earnings through name, image, and likeness, NIL deals, surpassing $1 million by the end of her junior season. Her endorsements extend from Reebok to Amazon, Bose, and Coach. Her success in NIL even earned her a spot on the cover of Sports Illustrated's Money Issue, alongside LSU gymnast Livy Dunn. In 2023, Reese founded the Angel C. Reese Foundation to empower girls through sports, education, and financial literacy. She also became a part owner of the DC Power FC, a professional soccer club, in 2024. Her Bayou Barbie nickname embodies her vibrant persona and has become a brand of its own despite trademark challenges. From her rise in basketball to her business ventures and community impact, Angel Reese's narrative is one of resilience, talent, and ambition. She's not just a basketball sensation, she's a role model, a businesswoman, and an inspiration. So, what's next for the Bayou Barbie? Keep watching, because Angel Reese is just getting started.